Begin your work by going to your grade level folder and double clicking it with a regular mouse click. Then go to your folder and double click it. Find the file that you downloaded. In this case it's paint file, BMP, and it's 3D Home. Now we're going to open this up and be sure to resize it so that you can see your video instruction at the same time. And this drawing is to scale. Each block equals four feet. So I'm going to begin by choosing my paint bucket and I'll make my room sizes by simply pouring in color in each grid. If I make a mistake, I can click Edit Undo up to three times. Make your front wall the front of the house. And I'm going to draw a door swing into the house. And a door swing usually swings in, so I'll click my line tool and find out where I want to put my door. Click it, hold, and I'm going to drag it so it falls inside the house. Also, when the viewer goes into the room, they'll face the living room and not the dining room. I also want to draw stair treads. Basically, this is a hallway that comes through into my utility room. Notice the relative size of the rooms. The living room's large. The bathrooms are smaller. This also has the washer dryer. So I'm going to zoom in and double my size and I'll make a thinner line tool. Scroll down and continue drawing my lines. In this case my stairs will go up at an angle this way and I have to go through this passage to get to the bathroom utility room downstairs. If I want to unzoom this I'll click it and just simply click surface. Now I made furniture and fixtures for this drawing, but you're welcome to design your own. To place your furniture on the page, click the select icon, go back and capture an object. Click hold drag, and then right mouse click it, and you can copy it, then right mouse click it and paste it. Click hold and drag it into place. Now if I don't like this angle, I can do a right mouse click, go down to flip rotate, and I could choose to rotate this 90 degrees and place it on a different wall. In this case it might block a window. So I'm going to right mouse click again and then flip it horizontally click hold and drag it on the back wall. If for some reason you release it someplace and click off cell and it isn't where you want it to be, you can click edit undo. Each one of these, if you copy it, you can go back and use it again. Also, you'll find these clear and you'll need to custom color it in order to put them on. If for some reason you capture one, copy it, and it's on the opaque mode, when you paste it, you'll get white around it, unless you click the translucent, and then you can see through it and place it. Make sure you leave enough room for traffic between your furniture. Now I added furniture to my living room and fixtures to the bathroom. You can create your own. This is a U-type kitchen with a sink, stove, and refrigerator. But what I want to do is show you how to draw the exterior doors and windows. This dotted line is the top of the doors and windows. The top should line up. Also you'll need to erase all your text. These are simply notes to help you. But what I'm going to do is capture my window by clicking, holding, dragging, capturing it, right mouse click copy, right mouse click paste, and 
drag it down in place. You're welcome to make your own doors and windows. This one I have to rotate by going down, right mouse click, and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and set it in my living room and I place it right at the top. The same thing's true with the door. Click it, hold it, copy it. Now I can come down to where I want it to put it in place. Paste it. And drag it over. Notice how it's translucent here. Now I'm going to do a right mouse click and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now this part's confusing. I'm going to line it up with my door swing on the floor plan. But this is the outside of the house so when I turn the knob and open it, it should face into this living room and I added a closet here. So you'll need to keep that in mind when you start designing things and in this case I need to right mouse click and flip it vertically because when I open that door and it swings in it should face into the living room and then you can choose color and color your walls or add texture to it and also place shingles on top of your roof I'll let you decide that